friends welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to take a look at how to install jupyter notebooks on your cloud server so in my case i am using a, a vps from DigitalOcean. so you can use either aws or google cloud the procedure uh, procedure is pretty much the same so let's get, uh, get started so the first thing that we need is we need to install a few dependencies for the actual Jupyter notebooks to work so for that uh, i will give i will be giving the links to these uh, commands in the description uh, down below so you can follow the, uh, these so the first thing that you need is you need to install all the uh, get all the updates from all the repositories and after that we need to install some basic dependencies that are required and hit enter and this is going to install those uh, dependencies after that we need to install python and pip and uh, virtual environment uh, python virtual environment so we will finish once this is done now we are going to install python uh, and it's uh, related to uh, packages that we need and once that is done if you don't have nano installed on your machine or uh, linux you just uh, install it uh, using this command because i am very uh, comfortable using a nano rather than using vim so the uh, it is uh, completely a personal preference if you want to uh, or you want, don't want to use it then what we need is we need to install git now we are going to install this uh, jupyter using pip just hit enter and it is going to install jupyter and all the dependencies that are required uh, by jupyter just wait for it to finish and now it has finished installing uh, Jupyter and let's continue with our tutorial so now we need to remove any uh, dependencies that were not used uh, by our program so just do that and after that we need to generate the config for Jupyter just to verify that Jupyter has been installed just type uh, Jupyter in the terminal and see what the terminal gives you an, as an output as you can see if you type aaa it is not an actual command so it is going to give you an error that command not found but for in case of Jupyter it is also giving us the help output now we need to generate the config just type this command to generate the config and you can see that the config was stored over here so the next thing is we need to generate a password to use in the config so just copy this command and paste it over here and hit enter and now it is going to ask you for a password so i am in my case i am going to be using uh, some random password and it will ask you to really verify and after that it is going to uh, give you a hash output uh, of that password that you can use so just copy that and now we are going to edit the Jupyter config. So just go nano dash root dot Jupyter. And over here we are going to edit the actual config file. And hit enter. And now we are going to take this, uh, the following config. I'm going to place this with the password hash that we got uh, by running the command above and this uh, config will be given in the description so you can copy it I'm going to paste it over here and just save this And I am going to change a few things uh, in this config. 
so I'm going to allow uh, region to all so anyone with the IP of IP address to this server can access the Jupyter notebooks so I'm just going to get static over here and that means that anyone with the IP of uh, our box can access the Jupyter notebooks just control X to save the country and now we are going to see if Jupyter actually uh, starts up and we just type Jupyter notebook and hit enter and now it is going to uh, install uh, run in the background As you can see over it is giving us the warning that it is running uh, over FTP. So just go to the IP port 8888 and hit enter. And now it is running. Just go ahead and access the web page, and you should be welcomed with the Jupyter interface. So you can see over here it is asking for the password. So just enter the password, and you will be logged into the uh, Jupyter Notebook server. So now you can go ahead and create your notebooks and start coding and running Python scripts. So just over here, I am going to create a new notebook for demonstration purposes and over here I'm just running print command and run it and as you can see that our compiler is working so that's it for this video if you have any questions do comment down below and do subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our latest videos.